This is my colony of golden honeypot ants, and today we're going to be moving them into a brand new nest. Now this is the nest I picked up for them. As you can see, it has six chambers, three floors, and a gorgeous outworld for the ants to explore. I'm super excited to get them into a new home, so let's get started. The first thing we need is a big tub, and we need to coat it in a chemical called Fluon. It's the same chemical used on nonstick pans, and what it does is not let the ants be able to crawl over it. This way, when we place the old nest into this tub and open up the glass, the ants will be able to run out into the tub, but they won't be able to escape. I apply a layer of Fluon both into the tub and into the new nest they're going to be going into. Now what we're doing here is closing up the top of the nest with an air vent. We close the side ports with a pair of plastic stoppers and this way the ants obviously won't be able to run out once we get them into their new home. The tools we're going to be using for the move are the following. This is an aspirator which is pretty much an insect vacuum. Next is a pair of featherweight forceps. And lastly we're going to be using some q-tips. Now that the fluent has dried inside the tub, we can begin setting everything up. I place in two cups, one with the old nest, one with the new nest and we're ready to begin. I carefully try to remove the glass, and here is where the chaos is going to begin. Since I'm pretty much breaking into the ants' home, they're going to start swarming like crazy because they don't know what just happened. Upon taking a closer look, you can see what's going on inside the nest. We have a bunch of repletes on the floor that have fallen from the ceiling with the vibrations, and pupa everywhere. This is why they need an upgrade into a new nest. Now, with a pair of featherweight forceps, I'm going to gently pick up the repletes as to not pop them. I place them onto my hand, and now we can take a closer look. Now, let's take a closer look at the repletes I have here. There's two on my hand, one red one and one orange one. They each store different flavored nectar, and as you can see, their abdomens are extremely stretched out. Even though they're super full of food, they don't pop really easily, and they sort of have the consistency of jello. Repletes are a special type of ant, which pretty much act as food storages for the colony. Since these ants are native to the southwestern deserts of the USA, during the summer months, which are extremely hot and dry, there's very little food to be found, so the colony will live off of the food that they stored in these ants. Now this is one of the hardest parts of moving these ants. Since they're not able to walk normally like regular workers would, each replete has to be moved manually, and I have to take extreme care to not pop them if I squeeze too hard. It's even made harder by the fact that every time I go in with my forceps, I get swarmed by at least a dozen ants every time. One by one, I move them into the nest, and I repeat this process over a dozen times until I get all the repletes in. I carefully place them, and they'll slowly make their way up the walls to hang from the ceilings. What you're looking at here is the most valuable member of the colony. She is the one and only queen, and she's the one responsible for laying every egg in this colony. None of the workers would be here if it wasn't for her. I made sure to carefully get her out of the old nest with the q-tip, and now it's time to guide her into the new one. Very gently, I nudged her in until she herself crawled up into the top corner of the nest. Now it was time to place the glass, making sure to not crush her or any of the other workers. Now that that was done, it was time to collect the rest of the workers, larvae, and pupae. With my aspirator, I sucked in as many as I could, repeating this process over a dozen times. Now you can see in the vial of the aspirator, I have everything in there. There's adult workers carrying pupae and some larvae as well. Over and over, I dumped these into the outworld of the new nest. Carefully opened up the vial and dumped them out as fast as I could before they could start crawling all over me and biting me. After repeating this process over 20 times, you can see the ants' outworld is filled with workers and pupae. They have still not found their way into the actual nest. They're still chilling in the outworld because they haven't truly made this their home yet. The very last step was to grab the tub and dump in all the remaining ants that were left in the bottom. The process now was pretty much done. The ants were successfully moved into their new home and they would slowly start going into the nest and bringing in the pupae. The repletes were happily hanging from the ceiling, and the queen was glad to be in a new spacious chamber. 